Hello viewers, welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is bearing. Lesson 2, conversion between types of bearing. Conversion of cardinal points to three digit bearing. Examples, convert the following to three digits. In first lesson, I told us that when solving practical bearing problems, we always make use of three digit bearing. So when you are given a cardinal point bearing, there is every need for you to convert it to three digit bearing. Hence this lesson. We have example one. You should convert not 50 degrees east to three digits. So you use notation for bearing. You drop the four main cardinal directions. You have north east. You start from north until you have 50 degrees somewhere here. So from this direction to where you have this line is 50 degrees. This is the notation for not 50 degrees east. Now, in three digit bearing, I told us that movement starts from the north only. So, from here to this point is already not 50 degrees east. If you are to convert this to three digit, you are still going to move from the same north to where the given angle ended. So from north to this point is also 50 degrees. But in three digits, you have to write it as 0, 50 degrees. Therefore, the direction of north 50 degrees east is equivalent to 0, 50 degrees. Example 2, we have south 50 degrees east. So let's draw the four main cardinal direction. You have north, you have so you have north, you have south, west, and east. So our interest is on south to east. So in this case, you are going to start from the south because south is the, is the second primary point. So here, you are going to start from the south and move 50 degrees towards the east. That is somewhere here to this point. So this is south 50 degrees east. To convert this to three digits, you go to the north and start moving to where the line is. So this is the equivalent three digits. The whole of this side is 180 degrees. Here is already 50 degrees. For you to get the remaining part, that is three digit equivalent, you have to subtract this angle 50 degrees from 180 degrees. Therefore, south 50 degrees east is equal to 180 degrees minus 0, 50 degrees, and that is 130 degrees. The equivalent in three digits. Example three, not 150 degrees west. So let's draw the four main cardinal direction. In this question, we are interested in between north and west and west, okay? So we are to measure 150 degrees from north through west. So let's start from here. From north to this point is 90 degrees. But we need 
150 you have to enter the other quadrant and take 60 from it so from here to this point you have 150 degrees in three digits you move to the north and you move clockwise to this line where the first angle ended from the north you get to this place so in three digits we are interested in from this point to this point already the whole of this side is 180 degrees that is what you have here this side also is 180 from here to here is 150 this remaining angle becomes 0 30 degrees so that from here to here is 180 plus 0 30 degrees therefore not 150 degrees west is equal to 180 degrees plus 0 30 degrees and that is 210 degrees example 4 you have south 150 degrees west you begin by drawing the four main cardinal directions in this problem we are interested in between south and west so here the movement starts from the south through the west 150 degrees so you start movement from south to this place is 90 you need to take 30 from this other quadrant to make it 150 so you take 60 60 to make it 150 so you draw the line so from here to this place is 150 degrees to complete this side this remaining part must be 0 30 degrees in three digits you go to the north then you start moving in clockwise direction t where the first angle ended so from the north you come here so we are interested in this angle from here to here to here and to here this side is 120 180 degrees from here to this point is 150 degrees so from here to this point becomes 180 degrees plus 150 degrees and that is 330 degrees or since this place is 0 30 degrees and the four quadrants their sum is 360 degrees you simply remove this part that you don't need 0 30 degrees from 360 degrees you also have 330 degrees whichever way you have the same result example 5 you have not 225 degrees west so we draw the four main cardinal directions we are interested in between north and west between north and west the movement we start from north through west until we have 225 degrees all right so from north to this point is 90 to this point is 180 for us to get 225 you need to take 45 degrees from this quadrant for you to have 225 degrees so here is 225 degrees that is what you have here from north through west in three digits you go to the north and move clockwise till where the first angle ended so from here to here 
that is the required angle now the whole of this side is 180 degrees we don't need this angle so you simply remove it remember from here to here 90 to this place 180 to get 225 here is 0 45 degrees to get the required angle you have to subtract this part 0 45 degrees from 180 degrees and that is 135 degrees example 6 we have south 225 degrees west you draw the four main cardinal directions we are interested in between south and west the movement will start from south through the west until you have 225 degrees from the south pole to this point is 90 to this point is 180 you need extra 45 degrees from this quadrant for you to have 225 degrees what you have here so this angle is 0 45 degrees in three digits you go to the north you start movement in clockwise direction until you get to where the first angle ended that is this point that is also 0 45 degrees therefore south 225 degrees west is equivalent to 0 45 degrees example 7 we have south 305 degrees east so let's draw the four main cardinal directions we are interested in between south and east the movement will start from the south through the east until you have 305 degrees so from south to this point is 90 to this point is 180 to this point is 270 that means you need extra 35 degrees from this quadrant for you to have 305 degrees this remaining angle that is not part of the movement becomes 0 55 degrees in three digits you go to the north and you move clockwise to where the first angle ended that is this part the whole of this side is 180 degrees this angle here is 0 55 degrees so from here to this point to this point is the addition of 180 degrees and 0 for 0 55 degrees and that is 235 degrees example 8 convert 135 degrees to a cardinal point bearing this is three digits so you, so you also draw the the four main cardinal directions what you have there is three digits that means you must start movement from the north 135 degrees you start from the north when you get here is 90 degrees you need 45 degrees from the next quadrant for you to have 135 degrees this is the three digit bearing representation where the angle ended is between south and east since south is one of the primary points you start moving from south till where 135 degrees has ended that is this point from here to here is 90 from here to here 45 to make it one 
80, this under angle must be 45 degrees. That is 0, 45 degrees. But in cardinal point bearing notation, you have south 45 degrees east. And that is what you have here. End of lesson two. Thanks for watching and learning. Don't forget, watch out for more from the voice of Peter Cos. Lastly, if you are not safe, your life is in crisis, your life is in trouble. To avoid all of that, you have to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life. If you are saved already, congratulations. Live righteously and be prepared because on the last day, some will be taken and some will be left. Be good to yourself. Study your books. Stay out of trouble. Do the needful at all times. Flee every appearance of evil. Don't defraud others to make money. Find something good and genuine to do with your hands and your brain. And the Lord will bless you. Goodbye and stay tuned.